ended up having to be admitted into the hospital um, emergency. Um, I spent three days in the hospital and I had um, Don't let the title freak you out. He is here. But we just had a major scare. Yeah, we did. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hi, everybody. My name is G Brown. G Brown, the lifestyle changer. And I'm Frederick Brown, the husband. And you are hanging, hanging with, with the, the Browns. Browns. And y'all know I'm much more energetic and everything. But when I say to you, the last few days, yeah, yeah. Towards the end of July, um, had an had an incident where um, I had submerged, or stayed submerged on the hot water for an extreme period of time. It wasn't the first time. This this is something that I had been doing for years. years. And um, one of the things I had noticed is that I was feeling, uh, my, my muscles were feeling weak. Um, they were feeling sore and even across my chest. Um, I, I, I've had that feeling before, not realizing what was happening, um, but it really went overboard this time. And um, I ended up having to be admitted into the hospital um, emergency um, I spent three days in the hospital and I had um, a condition called rhabdomyolysis, which is an acute kidney injury. And basically um, what happened was my muscle tissues had broken down and in, in, in without getting into the, the, the medical uh, details of it, mm -hmm. basically my my kidneys my kidneys couldn't filter it and it was it was poison in my bloodstream and um my kidneys when i went to the emergency i think uh they, they were going to do a, a cat scan and they uh they wanted to do a contrast and uh they they that were wasn't my, in the er no the doctor sent you there yeah but yeah, the doctor, my primary, sent me to um, to get this CT CAT scan, scan done mm -hmm. um, using contrast, so they could see what was going on with me. Now, keep in mind that my stomach had bloated; my stomach was huge, and um, it was swollen. Park and right, park right. Yeah, stop right there. Just let me just say, when uh, he was submerged in the water, that <laughs> when he leaned up. So we actually do have some things in place for when he soaks. Our agreement, because he said he's been doing this for years, guys. So there's somebody out there that's doing something similar, male or female. So hear it out. Because he, work, he does work out. So he was feeling the little muscles and stuff, you know, I guess sore. But they tell you to drink a lot for the toxins that are released from your muscles and stuff when you work out. Yeah, when you work out, with, and the workout is limited because my workout is, is basically just push-ups. I mean, I don't lift weights, I don't do anything like that, but but I will do certain things to failure. And and that's what I was doing. So typically the way it, it's supposed to work is that you know you, your muscle tissues tear and then as you sleep and replenish your body with protein and whatnot, it rebuilds and that's how you build muscle. Well, in my case, um, it didn't tear, it ripped. It, it, it pretty much ripped. And I guess it's called myoglobin. I think is what they say it is. It releases some sort of uh, protein in the bloodstream and, and um, it, it's uh, very toxic. And it, it, the kidneys can't process it. And it, it, <laughs> it'll damage so let your me, kidneys. Let me, add, let me just say, so when you're sitting in hot water and your blood vessels expand, and so what was going on can really pass through. But then as you're cooling off, they uh, go back to their normal size. And so this stuff is trapped. When they did your uh, blood work there, the woman was crying. I'm crying because it's like your husband's in kidney failure. Yeah. And I'm looking and I, I guess I'm thinking in my head, but he's. 
he, he, he's okay. When he got out of the water the next morning, his, his stomach area was so distorted. It, I always tell him that he, uh, this looked like he swallowed two footballs. One was stuck on this side and one was stuck on this side and it was just bloated. Oh my God. Yeah. That was very, very scary for me. Yeah. And, and, um, they admitted me into the hospital and, um, one of the things they, they, the only thing they could really do, um, at that time was try and flush my kidneys. That's, that's the objective is to flush the kidneys. So, uh, uh, using IV intravenous, um, fluids, they flushed and flushed and flushed, um, and my numbers actually started trending in the in the right direction. So things started getting better. I, a CK number, my initial CK number was over forty one thousand. And remind you, this number is one I that thought should it was, be no forty two thousand. It was 000. over over forty one thousand. They stopped measuring at forty one. And it had a plus it on said, it. It says greater than forty one thousand. That's where it stops. Oh, okay. Um, and that number range should be somewhere between sixty and two hundred. I think it is. Um, so that number was was gone through the roof, and as a result, with the all cretin. the failure, the creatine, that number was at eight, and that should be somewhere around one point two. So I had a lot going on at that time, and even though even though I didn't, I was feeling better than when it first happened, um, but I didn't feel like I was dying, which I think I really was, and um, had had. You know, not had I not received any medical attention, it, it could have been very bad. But um, but um, you know, with the with the um, IV, um, after three days, they started seeing my numbers trend in in the right direction, and uh, I, I, the guy, the doctor. Dr. Brooks, you know, he pretty much said the way I eat is probably what saved me as well. You know, so the only thing I eat was meat. I wouldn't even eat the hospital food. We were about, we live about two or three miles from the hospital. So she, she uh, drove home and, and cooked me a steak and brought my, my steak back. And, and uh, that's what I ate. You know, I didn't, I didn't eat any you know, of the hospital food. And, um, I think the biggest thing was just, okay, because if this didn't work, then they had to do emergency dialysis and yeah. hoping that his kidneys would pop back. Yeah. And so, so my numbers kept going down at 41,000 CK number. Um, after a day or two, it went down, it went down after a day, it went down to 19, I think it was. And then, um, before they released me from the hospital, it was down to like 2,400. Which is still high, but you can see that it it was trending in the, in the right, right direction. direction. So I just went and had blood work done today. They're gonna measure today to see where I am, and Before then you um, see a specialist. and then I'm 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 gonna schedule to go see a, a nephrologist. I think it is um, here sometime soon, and um, but hopefully things will continue to trend in the right direction. So we just wanted to kind of put that out there, and I, I'm actually gonna do more and give you a little more detail um, later. But I kind of want to get some numbers before me so that I can show what they were actually and, and where they are now. Um, and also, it'll make sense when you see that we had done some videos on a couple of cruisers and I was actually in the scooter. Because what happened was, during this entire process while my lungs are healing, um, it's releasing uh, um, um, some purine, you know, some ur uric acid. So I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting inflammation in every joint of my body. I'm okay, talking. stop right. Wait, no, no, no don't, listen. Don't, don't, so, no, 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 no. Say the bull. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I won't. Uh, so they're pumping him with the with the fluid. Yeah. And so keep in mind, your kidneys aren't working. They were down to eight percent function. Yeah. That's yeah. That's when he did those numbers calculated to eight percent function, and then with that, uric acid is not. So guess what rested? All yeah. the crystals rested in every joint, both elbows, my my right and left knee, my left big toe, 
my left ankle. Yo, your, the finger. My finger. Yeah. You have my finger. You had in places you finger. had never had this before. Places I never had it before. But let me say this. One of the reasons that we started the carnivore diet is because January of 2023, you were in a the midst of a full-blown something. And now, do you know this might have been a kidney thing that wasn't flushing and we had never looked into it? I, I think that, I really think that it, this makes sense because all of my life, even as a kid, I used to have uh, issues with my knees, inflammation in my knees, and they can never figure out what it is. I even, I even went to a... Um, um, uh, Arthritis, the rheumatoid? No, not the rheumatologist. I went to... The urologist? Urologist. I went to a urologist because I was having issues uh, urinating. And, 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 you know, I was misdiagnosed. I, I, I kid you not. I yeah, was misdiagnosed because he said that my prostate was a little bit larger, 30, 30 milligrams. I forgot what the unit measurement was. 30. A hundred is where they supposed to clamp it. To clamp it. Right. Yours was Mine was at 30, but he, he went ahead and suggested that I, that I get what was called a lift anyway. And a lift is where they lift the prostate. They staple the prostate above the urethra. Now, the problem with that is it didn't solve my problem. I was still having a problem urinating. So that tells you what? That wasn't the problem, mm -hmm. right? So after this whole episode with the rhabdomyolysis, learning about the kidneys, and I'm thinking that part of my issue was actually with my kidneys. And, um, and I think that may have been going on for... A long time you know this I don't think this just happened this this wasn't just an episode based on me sitting in hot water one time this is this is years of my life not only sitting in hot water because heat will do this to you it will break down your muscle I have had cases in the past or situations in the past where I felt my arm my muscles were hurting and and they were they were really aching, and I think I even said something to no, you. No, I remember like my, you you used I just, to say God, my arm is hurting. No, and I wasn't working out to the point where my arm should have done that because all I was doing was push ups. So it's not like I was lifting barbells or dumbbells or anything to really pressing that muscle. And but my arms were really hurting, you know. Um, and I even across my to, chest, but it was I remember hurting. you used to say things like, "I have to get like more rest or something because yeah, yeah. that was one. Yeah, more rest. I, I felt like. I felt like I had torn down my muscles and they, and they weren't rebuilding and that's because it. I didn't think I was getting enough sleep, but I don't think that that's what the problem was. And I think I was already suffering mild cases of it at that time, which actually uh, materialized into this, this last episode that, that caused me. Um, I just issue. want you to share this one part. When we were on the ship because his numbers are trending, uh, but he, uh, the gout was sell settling in and, uh, instead of canceling, I asked him what he wanted to do. And that's why, why we opted for a scooter. Yeah. But we were sitting on the side of a, um, some water. Water was not hot, but it wasn't cold either. So we were sitting there just talking with the other adults. Mm. Go ahead and tell what happened. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, there was a gentleman. I sat down with a gentleman sitting to my right. And I don't know how we got on the subject, got to talking. About hot out, water. But it turns out that he was doing the exact same thing that I was doing. Sitting in hot water for extended periods of time. And he had, you know, he had felt some, some muscle issue. And he had pretty much attributed it to getting old. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it, it was divine intervention. Now, whether he take heed of our conversation or not, I don't know. What were some of the um, uh, symptoms? Because I think that's and because that's one of the things, uh, the frequent urination at night. The um, when you get out of that hot water and then all of a sudden you feel like you want to pass out. And it's yeah. like, oh, I'm so glad I got out of when I did, because there are so many times all of a sudden he come falling out the bathroom into the chair so okay bring me some water and i'm looking at him and i'm like dude yeah. that's too long in the water yeah yeah it was. it was and he's saying the same thing and i looked at the gentleman i said let me tell you something this great big old earth and we sitting out here in the ocean on a ship 
that you just so had out of all the people on the ship, you sit next to him and that's the story he tell you. Okay. So if you don't heed, there's nothing more that can be said. And I say to the same people that's watching. Yeah. If you have some questions, put it down in the comment. But, you know. Here, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. there, there, um, if you go on YouTube and you look up rhabdomyolysis and some of the causes, and you're going to see a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people that are diagnosed with this um, comes from overwork, over exhausting the muscles. Um, that... I don't think I really did it to that degree. Um, another cause is from heat. And so you think about it, internal heat. So internal heat, the water, the hot water that I sat in created the heat within my body. Approximately That's, how hot yeah. was the water? I, I don't know. It was hotter than jacuzzi water. And jacuzzi 102, water, 103. 102, 103. It was probably hotter than that. You know, somewhere there about tolerable enough for me to actually sit down in it. Um, but it was, it was hot. Um, but that was relaxing to me. That's what I used to do. Um, get on TikTok, get on YouTube and I just sit there and relax and, and, um, but no more. But anyway, um, can I tell you how much I'm so thankful that you're trending in the right direction? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I know it was life changing for you. It is. Your life kind of flashed before you and you start seeing things differently and, and you think about, you know, if I can get a do-over, what, what will I do differently? What's important? What's not important? So you, you kind of look at life a little differently, appreciate things a little more, um, and, and don't sweat the small stuff. Um, you know, that's why sometimes the conversation I even have with my wife now, because sometimes she, she gets upset about her little things and I'm looking at her and I'm like, it's not worth it, you know, just calm down, relax. So. Y'all, that's the story. It's not over. But what I want you to take away is number one, he's going to be okay. Number two, the diet that he was on is the, keep in mind, he's popping in. Ele yeah. Okay. They ended up having to give him magnesium, even though prior to all his numbers were, he was depleted, y'all, depleted. Like. Yeah, because what she didn't say, what we didn't say in the beginning was that when I went through this episode, what it entailed was me actually throwing up. So I, I barfed everything inside of me out. So there's absolutely nothing inside everything. of me. Everything. From the standpoint of even from the point of they couldn't even find a blood vein um, to, to draw blood. I mean, they, they had a hard time trying to give me an IV. It, yeah, I was depleted of everything. Yeah. yeah. And so that it, okay, back to my takeaway. If you're s sitting in hot water, but it's not necessarily hot water. Mm -hmm. You could be a construction worker out here. When they give that heat advisory, yeah. all of this, because keep in mind, you're constantly doing yeah. this. You're doing this. You work in your muscles. Yes. Your you muscles are. are breaking down. You're overheated outside. Ninety. What is ninety-eight degrees? Okay. That 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 that's your inside. So if you're heating it up past that, your body can't take that. That's not what it was designed for an extended part of time. And so, keep in mind, if you're sitting in that hot water, you doing the workout, you have to hydrate yourself. And once again. Thank God for the carnivore diet because of how he was eating. I believe that once he was depleted, it was, but the body was still in good working condition. All right. So the, 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 the comeback was great for lack of just a better way of saying it. And yeah. it's like, yeah. And the, um, the swelling, the is, swelling gone. is gone in my stomach. So. Yeah, so for the few people that did see, and it was like, no, they thought that was his stomach. I'm like, no, that's not his stomach. His yeah. stomach, and they like, no. And I'm like, okay, Dr. Kiltz told yeah. you that one. Dr. Kiltz was like, no, yeah. no. And I was like, Dr. Kiltz, come see it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, right. guys. Bye. Thank you. Keep us up in prayers. It's not over yet.